Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. I want to take this time to thank the Queen Anne's County Commissioners, the Centerville Town Council, and all of the community members that showed up this week at our open house. Special thanks to our staff that made this completely possible with all the great things that they did. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. The first person we're profiling is Charles Michael Lawhead. Mr. Lawhead is wanted for a violation of probation charge due to a malicious destruction of property. He's a 32-year-old white male. He's approximately 6 foot 3 inches tall and weighs about 190 pounds. He has brown hair and green eyes. He also has a tattoo on his left leg. He's known to be living in the Florida area, possibly working at a place called the Grateful Palette. He's possibly their beverage director. He also has family in the Stevensville, Maryland area. His last known address in the Florida area was the Hollywood area of Florida as well as the Fort Lauderdale area. If you've seen Charles Michael Lawhead, please contact our office as soon as possible. The second person we're profiling is Dawn Kathleen Mooney. Miss Mooney is wanted on a 2010 bench warrant for failing to appear on traffic charges. She's a white female, she's 41 years of age, she's approximately 5 foot 7 inches and weighs about 120 pounds. She has red hair and blue eyes. She also goes by the name Dawn Marie Kathleen O'Grady. She has a tattoo on her right ankle. She has a scar on her stomach. Her last known address is in the Sutlersville area as well as the Upper Marble area. If you've seen Dawn Kathleen Mooney, please contact our office as soon as possible. The third person we're profiling is a Coyote Shazab Johnson. Mr. Johnson is an African American male. He's about 29 years of age. He's approximately 6 foot 2 inches tall and weighs about 270 pounds. He's wanted on a non-support warrant for failing to appear on October 1st of 2009. His last known address is the Woods Edge Road area in Chestertown, Maryland. Information that we've received says he may be living in Georgia. If you've seen Coyote Shazab Johnson, please contact our office as soon as possible. The fourth person we're profiling is Tina S. Hay. Ms. Hay is wanted on a failing to appear charge for traffic charges stemming from 2008. She has two aliases that she uses, Tina Baker and Tina Cook. She's a white female, approximately 40 years of age. She's 5'7 with blonde hair and green eyes. Tina Hay also has two last known addresses. One is in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. The other is in Berryville, Virginia, and most recently, Martinsburg, West Virginia. If you've seen Tina S. Hay, please contact our office as soon as possible. The fifth person we're profiling is Marcus Clinton Rich. Mr. Rich is wanted for failing to appear on December the 7th, 2007. He's a 38-year-old white male, approximately 5 foot 4 inches tall, and weighs about 180 pounds. He has brown hair and green eyes. He has tattoos on both arms, both legs, and also on his back. This guy shouldn't be too hard to spot. He works at many local establishments. He's worked in local bars, the Gravity Lounge, which was here in Queen Anne's County, and the Purple Moose in Ocean City. His last known address was Annapolis and Ocean City. If you've seen Marcus Clinton Rich, please contact our office as soon as possible. The sixth person we're profiling is Wanda Lee Fisher. Miss Fisher is also known as Wanda Tisdale. She's a white female, approximately 54 years of age. She's approximately five foot tall and weighs about 125 pounds. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. She's wanted on a violation of probation charge for a prior CDS possession. She normally works as a housekeeper. Her last known address was Benedict Lane in Ridgely, Maryland. 2010 reports and information that we received was that she was living in a tent at local state parks. So if you've seen Wanda Lee Fisher, please contact our office as soon as possible.
At this time, I want to bring all the viewers of Queen Anne's County and all the viewers of YouTube and QAC TV our most recent captures. Three captures last week. Again, thanks to the viewers in Queen Anne's County and the viewers actually now almost nationwide that are giving us tips and information. We really appreciate all the information and trust that you have in helping us getting these bad guys off the street. The first person that we have as a capture is Amena Regina Anderson. She was taken into custody by Dover Police Department on a 2006 charge for failing to appear. The second person we have is David Lee Collier. Mr. Collier was wanted on a 2009 charge for an authorized use of a motor vehicle. He actually returned from Tennessee for a civil trial here in Queen Anne's County and was arrested at the circuit courthouse. The third person we have as a capture is Darlene Alice Gray. I want to say one thing. Miss Gray, you did the right thing. This was a 2011 fair to pay court cost charge and you came into our lobby and turned yourself in. Again, thanks to all of our viewers, thanks to all of the persons that provide tips to us, and again, thanks to the Queen Anne's County, QAC TV, and the commissioners for providing us. If you want to review the information on these profiled persons or look and see who else uh, we have listed on our warrants, you can go to queenannesheriff.org and review it under the warrant section. If you have information on a warranted person, you're asked to call the sheriff's main line, which is 410-758-0770, or you can call our confidential tips line at 410-758-6666. We're encouraging you to contact us for Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. The persons who are most wanted belong in here. These people need to be arrested.